Hi folks, we are today out for a Bosi overnighter again and we are heading today to the Caron Borsi. The Caron Borsi lays in the west of Scotland in the beautiful Argyll and Butte. The loch behind us, which we could see, is Loch Ave and our path will lead us now always here in this direction to the top of it and then um, always along just basically <laughs> twice to the horizon or so. It should be, according to the map, yeah, around um, 10 kilometers and like five or 600 altitude meters. Initially the plan was that we would head up um, on a mountain, which I had long in mind for a scramble, but the weather's just not good enough. We have every so often rain, um, and the forecast for tomorrow is that it should rain more or less all day in the peaks and the clouds, so we need to do this another time. Yeah, it's a really good path for walking, but not particular much to see, I'm honest. And we are now just heading here. Um, yeah, the street basically along. Um, and on top of the ridge there, there is where we should see then finally the moor um, with a lot of little lochs. So I'm looking forward to this one. It's probably the highlight of this route. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's have a look. We come from up here and this is just absolutely outstanding how beautiful it is here we bridge and then this one I think is a reservoir yeah absolutely beautiful um, area I haven't been here before um, so it's all new to me as well <laughs> and I really like it and we are heading now basically here, always really, yeah, just always along the path. Then over this V hill here, and from there on it should go downhill, um, direction to a forest, and then we are already nearly at the bossy. So, now yeah, shorter than I thought it would be, yeah, but it's like on a path like this, like 10, 12 kilometers, doesn't take really a long time. Anyway, we are proceeding, as mentioned, here over the bridge and then over this hill. And then we have a look what we can see. But so far, I'm, I quite like it, yeah. I mean, it's not as demanding or like a scramble or anything, but it's according to the weather and it's also really enjoyable.
beautiful hike, quite scenic, and we are now almost at the top of the Vierich thing. We are just going here through, and then we should see quite a few more locks and maybe pass basically through in the middle between them, and then it should go downhill to the forest and the Bothy. So far we're really lucky we had no rain. Hopefully it stays like this. <laughs> I mean tomorrow it will be wet, but no need for today. <laughs> And we are heading here along the path just always and go here down behind it and then to our right and this is where the bossy should be. Hello. Beautiful. Sleeping area. Yeah. The fireplace. Bag with something. A table for cooking. Small but beautiful. And we are so far the first ones. How great is it? And we have now five o'clock or a little bit after five. So I will unpack now my stuff here, claim my spot. And then we have a look that we get water or if we can organize some wood, maybe find something which is dry, some dead wood. But we will see piece by piece. First, let us unpack our stuff. That's me now set up. Unfortunately, we can't put it in this direction. It's too short from the length. I mean, if a lot of people come, then it's definitely possible. But right now, I will just leave it like this, next to the fire. And yeah, as usual, let us get some water. Yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. I read that the Caron Bothy was built. Um, all of the two runes here, we can see. So there were two broken buildings and they built basically a full one out of it. Let's have a look how it looks like. Yeah. Interesting, but yeah. Just the rune, I guess. So let's have a look. Hmm. Nice spot. But I think we should make us now short a coffee um, and then we should get um, into the forest. So I get some more wood. Maybe we find some dry ones that we can make a proper fire later. Beautiful. I changed short into my um, rain jacket because this one is just much more robust. Um, I 
against twigs and branches and all that stuff. No need to ruin the puffy. Must be enough. The wee beasts are eating me. So, not sure. Probably coming back later with a head net, but it's no joy. <laughs> I just don't like the VBs. The midges is absolutely unbelievable. Um, so we have now a few sticks, you saw it, not many. Um, but I brought the fire lock, so I think we should. The fire lock, they say, is good for four hours, but this is a lie. Um, I would say it's good like for one, two, two and a half hours with little sticks. We have roughly for three hours fire, which is plenty. Yeah? It shouldn't get really cold. We should get like 10 degrees tonight or so. So it's not for the temperature. This is what I want to say. Really, the fire, the fire is just to make it cozy and to scare the spiders away and all the little critters. Um, yeah, but we have a look. But right now I just make something to eat. I'm pretty hungry. Um, yeah. oh, there's someone floating in here. No. Get him later out. Oh. So. And for dinner today, yeah, you would have guessed it. The usual, a good old pasta bolognese. Really looking forward to this one. I really enjoy it, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't eat it. And yeah, it doesn't take too long either. So. Yeah, it looks like the weather forecast was right. With the rain. A bit later than they said, but yeah. Yeah, probably then tomorrow right as well. So Looks like that we made definitely the right decision. I don't mind when it rains. I actually really like the noise. It's just a pity with all the little beasts are still flying around, but yeah. Maybe they will disappear in a bit. We see an assorted boot bees here. Hmm. And this person writes actually that his grandfather and father used to live here many years ago and were shepherds for the estate. Nice. Yeah, and the last entrance was like six days ago.
Good morning, folks. Yeah, it was a really good night. Um, actually, it's not raining right now in the moment. That's quite impressive. Um, the midges are out. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and as you can see here, ah, geez, oh, um, the clouds are hanging fairly low. Yeah, but at least it's not raining yet. But I will go back inside. Um, then I will pack my stuff away, clean the bossy, put rain clothes on. And then I will head basically the same way home um, as we came. And I hope you enjoyed our wee bossy adventure here at the Caron Bossy. And see you next time. Bye.